I paid somebody $1,200 to build me the ultimate Pokemon mystery box present. But this isn't any ordinary Pokemon mystery box because everything inside of here is guaranteed to be vintage old school Pokemon products. My birthday was earlier this year, but I'm so excited to have this. Um, I actually ordered this like three months ago. It took super long to get here, but just look how cool the artwork is on this thing. Like literally the wrapping paper is Pokemon. All right, so it's time to unwrap this thing. It's not a big box at all, but... Um, it was $1,200, so I'm hoping that this thing is legit and there's actually some really cool stuff in here. Yo, it's like a legit present. Okay, let's get some of this wrapping paper off. I don't know what to expect here. Oh, it's like double double layers of, uh, of wrapping paper. Oh, oh, okay. Whoa, what is this? What is this? Okay, pretty nice custom box it looks like. Whoa, this thing is like super high quality. Yo, this looks like an ultra premium collection box. It has that same quality to it. Okay, we gotta like open this part up now. Oh my god, okay, it's upside down. <laughs> Everything almost fell out. Oh my goodness, there is so much stuff in here. Quick sneak peek, quick sneak peek. Oh my god, there's too much stuff. Okay, let's start with this box topper. Ooh, okay, we have a Zorark 2011 black and white era box topper right on the top here. Check that out, it has like a pattern going on. If you turn it certain ways, it actually changes. Next up, I already see it. It's Pokemon the first movie and it's a booster pack from like so long ago. Um, I don't even know what the date is on this thing. All right, we got to open this up. I assume this is probably from like 1999. Here we go, though. Let's see if we get some crazy cards out here. I haven't opened up one of these packs. Oh, I just ripped the whole pack. I always try to preserve the packs, but nope, I couldn't do it this time. Um, I haven't opened up one of these packs in a long time. So we got Brock. We got Ash there. Misty. Oh, we got Mewtwo. Breaking out of the tube. We got Togepi. So these are like movie scenes here. We got Mewtwo. And it looks like we have like a hollow back here. And that's, I think that's the hit. Don't cry, Togepi. We have um, some more scenes. So these are all scenes. We got Mew, and then we got a Squirtle on the Goldeen. Wait, I need to skip down here a little bit. I see something. It looks kind of crazy. Wait, there's more presents in there, too. Hold on. This is a, uh, a thing of booster packs here. And Okay, it looks like there's definitely maybe some older packs in there. Okay, I'm not going to open this up yet, but I just wanted to show you guys. There's actually another present in here. Uh, okay, we'll save. You know, I'm going to save this till the very end of the video. We're going to put that to the side. Also, make sure you enter today's giveaway because I'm giving away an entire booster box of Fusion Strike to one lucky winner. To enter the giveaway, all I have to do is number one, smash the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe to the channel with those notifications on. And then number three, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of this mystery box. Okay, so here's all the booster packs. Let's start with the first one here. Evolving Skies. Okay. Let's start off with that. I think everything was supposed to be vintage in here, but maybe there's just some extras, like, uh, just to kind of throw in there. We got Phoebus, Hitmonchan, Molga, and then we got a non-hollow Shiftry. Okay, next up, it looks like we do have Chilling Rain. Not bad. Moving in through some of these other sets here. I'm so curious to know what's inside of that other mystery box there. What could that possibly be? We got a Slow King Hollow in that one. Hmm, I don't know what this next one could be. Let's see. Oh, oh, it's Battle Styles. Okay, I didn't even realize what it was from, um... The back side of it. All right, let's go through this one. We're going to go four from the back. And let's see what we get. What is that under there? Whoa, there's like another type of pack down there. Okay, we got Bellsprout, Yamper, Corefish. Oh, we got a Corbin IV. Not bad. Oh, they have fun packs for like all these sets. Evolving Sky, Sword Shield Base, Vivid Voltage. We got Chilling Rain, Rebel Clash, and Astral Radiance. These are actually kind of cool to keep sealed. I don't know if you can actually get pulls from these, so I'm going to keep these to the side for now. All right, all right, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a little nervous. I did spend $1,200 on this. I didn't know who the seller was, but it looked pretty cool. Uh, hopefully, we get our money's worth out of here. Oh, dude, Mega Gengar card sleeves. Yo, these got to be kind of old. 2016 on these? Yo, these are sick. It's like 50 cents a sleeve. What else do we have? Oh my God, there's a bunch. Whoa, wait, wait, wait. There's a bunch of different sleeves in here. We got Mega Lucario as well. This one also looks like it's from the same sort of era. And then we got the Charizard. Nice. So these ones are ultra pro. All right, so we have like a bunch of cards here that are in these like little um, cases. So the first one here, let's flip it over. Oh, Garchomp level C, dude. That's pretty sick. Dude, not even bad. It actually looks pretty clean. Let's see if I can get this out of here and we can actually check this out up close. Oh, yeah. It's in, like, the perfect fit sleeve. Oh, okay. You take it out from the side, actually. Okay, okay. Not bad. It's, like, a little bit played and stuff. But, dude, it's actually not bad at all. That's a sick... Dude, level hex is pretty sick. All right, next one. I got high hopes for these now. Next one is... Oh, the Keldeo EX. Okay, that's not too bad. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Let's put that to the side. And then I see already the Prime Card Electro. Dude, no way. Heart Gold Soul Silver era. That's pretty sick as well. This is an old school box here. So let's see. What, what is this? Six. Oh, okay. We got the Merlin stickers now. Okay, let's go. All right. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight 
packs of stickers. All right, I think we have to open some of these. I don't think I'm gonna open all of them up, but so these should be like old school stickers from like back in the day. I think I probably had these as a kid. I don't know the exact date on these. I'm just gonna rip this whole thing open. Okay, um, oh, dude, these are kind of crazy. Tentacruel, yo, that looks like legendary collection, like reverse hollow pattern. Eevee, we got Gary. All right, we got a little Polyrath action or Poliwhirl. We got Ratata, my boy. We got Pinsir. So there were two that had like the hollow shiny stuff going on. I don't know if there's like a rarity tier with these. Maybe we could pull these out like this if I can get it. Oh, it's like stuck. Okay, there we go. Um, maybe we'll do a little pack trick action if that's even a thing. <laughs> Let's see what happens. Okay, we got Weedle. All right, Exeggutor. Oh, we got Charizard. And there's no. Okay, there's literally no hollow ones in this one. I think we have to do another one just to see like what the deal is with these. Okay. Yeah, these are like Merlin. These are actually pretty uh, easy to find because, uh, yeah, they just printed so many of these. We got Squirtle. Okay, Gold Duck. Um, it looks like you could put these parts together for some sort of puzzle. That's Dragonite. Nice. Oh, we got Ash and Pikachu. Nice. The hollows on that one. All right, I lied. One more, one more. I want to say, are the. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe this is the good one. Uh, it's on the front now, dude. I don't know if this is completely random or what. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, a slow poke. Ooh, Clefable. We got Kadabra. We got Blastoise. Oh, look at that one. That's the coolest one in Scyther. Uh, I'm kind of nervous. I'm getting nervous already. Remember, this is $1,200. I only got about $200 in value so far. And remember, I still have this. I I'm banking on this, I feel like. I'm banking on this to be crazy. Uh, this is We're saving till the end. All right, let's keep rolling through here. Um, let's see what else we got. Oh, I might skip this and go to this one. This looks interesting. I think I know what this is. I feel like this is Emerging Powers, black and white. Oh, it is, but it's only the sample pack. Oh, okay, okay, sample pack. All right, I'm going to open this up. I think when it's a sample pack, it means you can't get anything. It's just like a set amount of cards that you can get out of here. It's from 2011, though, so we'll see if it's any different back then, but I don't think you can get anything out of these. I think it's literally just three Naha cards. Patrat, Woobat, yeah, nothing on that one. And then uh, there's this little thing. Oh, that's an old school code card. And then this is just information about the set here. Yo, wait a second. Okay, I know I'm skipping around, but dude, what the heck could this be? Oh, there's two. Oh my god, wait, wait, wait. That looks like it's in some serious cases. There's Japanese and then English. Okay, I'm going to put these down for a second. Let's see what was on top because I'm like skipping around now. What is this? Okay, is it just some like dividers or something? Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So it looks like... Oh, it's like a whole collection of all these different dividers from like all the ETBs. So it's all modern. It looks like all the modern ones. Yeah. Uh, okay. 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 I'm still, I'm still not feeling too good about this box right now, guys. We only got a couple hundred dollars in value so far. All right. Hopefully this is crazy. Let's see. It's gotta be something good. It's literally screwed into a case. All right. Let's see. Oh, nice dude. Okay. We got a Houndor from Neo Discovery Japanese. We'll take it. But why is it in like this crazy? Ridiculous <laughs> screw down case. That's actually kind of cool. I do like the cases in this box. All right, not bad. That's that's cool. That's cool. We'll take it. Um, it looks pretty near mint. Um, so we'll see what's on this one now. Like this, hopefully, is something crazy. Definitely a lot of thought went into this box. That's that's for sure. All right. Um, yeah, it does have little white stuff going on in the corners there. But like, is this gonna be something crazy? Maybe a Charizard? Oh, it's Misty's. Okay, Misty's Cedro pre-release. Not bad. These are actually really, really easy to find, though. Like, super easy to find. We'll take it. Uh, uh, we only got eight. We, we got, like, $250 of value so far. Oh, man. I don't even want to know what this is. It looks sketch. It looks sketchy. Oh, bro. No. I, I mean, I mean, it's all right. It looks like it's ultra premium collection box stuff. So, we got some, like, pretty, like, higher end coins. There's some decent ones in here. These are... These are kind of cool. Um, okay, we got some some cool ones in here. We got some Genesect. We got the Mewtwo. This is whatever. These are kind of cool because they're like the nicer ones. But yeah, it's all... Ooh, 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 that one's kind of cool. Charizard coin. And we do have a Crowback coin. But nothing like... Nothing too special, honestly. Right, what do we have here? So there's like a handful of these. It's just like a bunch of cards in a case. Um, so let's take this off. There's like some Pokemon tape on here. Let's see if these are any good, because we kind of need some good stuff now. If I can get this open, let's see, let's see. Alright, it, it looks like it might just be bulk, but let's see. Stung Fist, alright, so we have like 2011 black and white era bulk, but oh wait, it looks like there's some in sleeves. Oh, we nice, we got the Tepig. 
Okay, that's actually a pretty sick hollow. This is um, a Black Star promo. So it looks like we go through these and then like when you get to the one that's sleeved, that's the one that we're looking for. We got a Sigalyph hollow, nice. Okay, they're not like perfect, but they're definitely in pretty okay. Well, that one's pretty bad. Uh, some of these are pretty bad. <laughs> Timber, Panseer. All right, that was just a reverse. Let's keep going through here. Just black and white bulk, uh, reverse, Trubbish, Piplup, Tepig, Nidoran. Come on, let's see if there's something good in here. Squirtle, Remoray. We got Porygon and Polion non hollow. Let's go through this a little bit quicker. We got uh, Reverse, Mancino. This is uh, even like, okay, 2013 and uh, a Machop. All right, what do we got on this side? Okay, so it's another sample pack. This one's Noble Victories, also from the black and white era. I don't know, guys. I'm starting to feel pretty let down with this right now because, like, I don't even, I don't even think we got any vintage packs. Like, it's, it said there would be like vintage packs, stuff like that. But the vintage packs we're getting are literally sample packs, which kind of is just like not that good. I mean, you can't even get hits out of these. I'll open this one up. Uh, I'm starting to feel not too good about this box at all. It's literally, I feel like it's gonna come down to, um, yeah, like you can't even get anything out of these. Okay, this part definitely looks pretty played. Let's see what's in this one. Man, okay, I'm not feeling good about this one right now. I'm definitely, I'm not feeling good at all. Like, I was thinking like, it's 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 like guaranteed vintage stuff in here. So like when I think of vintage packs, like I was thinking we were gonna get like old school vintage packs, but like clearly that's not the case right now. Um, I think the seller had really good reviews, but like I'm not feeling this box at all. Okay, so we actually do have some old school stuff here. This is base set, um, some different sets like Neo Genesis. We got Gym Series, Discovery. Okay, and then we got a Lieutenant Surge. We got some base. This is actually a little bit better, uh, but the cards are definitely like, you can't grade these. They're like the lowest of pricing for most of these because uh, like they're all played, right? They're all light play. Once once cards like goes into the light play category, like that, and that's some of them are like even heavier play. Like they're pretty much all played here. It's cool to see these, um, but they're not going to carry like a ton of value. Clefable, um, just because like, yeah, you, you know, you're not going to grade these and... I mean, it's cool stuff in here. There's fossil, jungle, more fossil stuff. It's got some Neo Discovery in here as well. Neo Genesis, but yeah, like they're all like got tons of whitening and stuff like that. Gloom, Diglett, Chikorita, Grimer. Um, that's a cool one, actually. What is this one from? Um, yeah, so like, okay, I don't even know what this Black Star promo is from. Look at really cool though. I feel like I've never even seen this before. If anybody knows what this is from, let me know. Honestly, I don't think I've ever seen it. We got Mime, so we got some E-Series stuff in here. Some Sky Ridge again, but it's all super played, right? Cyndaquil. And then we got a couple others down there. All right, all right, all right. Um, so there's one more of these things. Uh, I don't know. What is this? Wait, hold on a second. Oh, dude, we actually do have a, um, we have, we have a fossil theme deck, but like, it looks a little weird. It's like a little messed up. I think it still has the seal. Yeah, it definitely still has the seal there. The front's like a little bit weird. I kind of want to, I kind of want to open this up. I don't think I've ever actually opened up a fossil theme deck. Okay, so this is fossil 1999 and, um, normally these aren't really worth opening up, but I think I'm going to open this one up just to see what you actually get in here. Cause it is old school. I can't find the other side of this thing. So I'm just going to cut this like this a little bit and try not to mess the box up. All right, let's see what we get inside of this thing. Yeah, never open these up. Um, I don't even think that you're, you, you get a hollow or anything, but it's cool to actually experience opening these up. You know, we might as well open it up. They're about a hundred bucks. So let's see. They're, they're definitely, I think more, you, you rather sh you just keep them sealed. Uh, <laughs> this still has air in it. That isn't actually insane to me. This still has the air in it. Um, I don't know if you normally even, they would, this is supposed to have air in it, but oh my God, look at this Aerodactyl coin. It's such a small coin, dude. <laughs> 1999 Wizards of the Coast. Um, and these are like the jelly damage counters. These are like the super old school ones. That's crazy. That's so 90s, those things. All right, what else is in here? Um, oh, dude, look at this. The rule book. This is version three, guys. Oh, my God. Look at those blisters. I think those are shadowless. Yeah, those are shadowless. Those are other theme decks you can get. So for like overgrowth um, and other ones. And then there's the, reg the original base set one. I don't know why I'm going through this backwards, but oh, dude, I remember this. I definitely had some theme decks as a kid. Okay, so we'll put that there. Um, okay, let's see. What else? What else? What else? Ooh, ooh, we got the checklist. And the other theme decks are on here. So you can see, like, all the different ones that they had out. This is still back in 99, so there's only a handful of them, really. 
I know. I think this was a binder. This this artwork was on a binder, so I had the binder at one point too. Then there should be one last thing in here, and it is gonna be the cards. Now there might be a hollow in on the front of this. I don't think there is though. Oh, there is. Oh, it actually might be worth opening up, dude. There's a Lapras in here. Okay. Uh, sorry about that. I didn't even realize. That's that's actually not bad. Let's let's get this out of here without messing it up though. Okay. So see this strip that goes around it. Sometimes that messes the cards up. I don't know if it's gonna be something that messes up on the these fossil cards or not oh my god wait i gotta i gotta smell these oh my god look at that that has the og smell <laughs> like that is like a stack of cards that have been stuck in there Woo, dude okay okay i take that back it might be worth opening up but look at that there's a giant print line on that but dude that's actually solid that's centered really nicely oh man that's like the only issue is that big print line going through that lapper i mean these are like probably the best conditioned cards definitely that we are getting out of this mystery box unfortunately Crabby. I don't know if there's any error cards that you could pull out of here. Vulpix. Well, Vulpix says HP 50. It's supposed to be 50 HP, but that's on all the Vulpix cards. So, okay, we're going through. Okay, there's actually base cards in here. Ponytaws mixed in there. Okay, Bill. Switch. So you got a lot of like the base set. Full heal, super potion, your energies. And then you know, fire and water in there. Nice. I just can't believe the air is still in here. Like, this is actually air from 1999. It's still in here. That's kind of wild to me. I'm going to keep that like that keep that air preserved you know that is wild to me i'm still I'm still shocked that that there's not a hole in this like there's not even the smallest of hole for the air the, the air to come out that is wild to me i don't know why it's just all right well right now i'm only sitting at about 500 dollars in value with this thing or as of now i definitely would not recommend it um it was it was a seller it's a seller on ebay and they have like all these different mystery boxes and they had like a, i mentioned it earlier they had a lot of really good reviews um and they even like wrap it up for you if you want but like Dude, I don't know. I, I, w I waited a while for this, and uh, oh my god, can I get this open? <laughs> and right now, I'm just like not really that happy with it. I mean, like value-wise, that's that's the main issue. Like, it's cool, the creativity on here. Okay, so we got some pretty cool uh, Diamond Pearl stuff in here. Nice. Okay, this one's actually pretty solid. I don't know. We might still be able to make it up. We might still be able to make it. So we got some Heart Gold Soul Silver reverses here but it's mostly like loose cards that we're getting and we're getting like sample packs which are like not actual real vintage packs like i was hoping i was thinking that we were going to get like like a bunch more actual like sealed stuff that's like you know what i mean like old school like hardcore silver, silver packs stuff like that we got some nice non hollows in here don't get me wrong though this is actually probably the best pack uh so far our loose cards pack or whatever you want to call it so far Hey, we got every generation, it looks like, of like all this stuff in here. So this is pretty cool. I actually like this one the most right now. Oh, we got some EX Air. Nice. Oh, that's the best one. That's a nice one. Snorlax. We got Wooper. Nice. Nice. Okay, that's good. That's that's probably the biggest card that we've had right here is this Snorlax. Dude, that's sick. The Delta Species. Oh, my God. That is such a good card. <sighs> well, guys, it all comes down to this one last present. So... We got around $600 in value. Remember, it was $1,200 for the box. We need something really good in here to completely change this whole opening. All right, Arceus, please make this really good. Something amazing to turn this whole thing around for us. So we got about half of our value right now. What's it going to be? It, it's wrapped up. It has to be good, right? It has to be good. Oh, baby. Is there some packs? Oh, we might be okay. Oh, yeah. We might be okay. Hold on. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure yet, though. Don't know. <laughs> we might be okay right now. Oh, my God. What is this? It's some sort of, like, stacking. It's like Legos for packs. Wait. Wait. We might be okay. I don't know. Oh, there's a vintage pack in there. There's 100% a vintage pack in there. Uh, which one is it, though? Okay, hold on, hold on. What do we do? Okay. Okay, there's three. I put them to the side for now. We're just going to do them one at a time. This first one, I feel like it's X and Y base. It's X and Y base. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. It's fine, though. We got our X and Y base set booster pack. This is the first from the X and Y era. 2014. It's like a $40 booster pack. It's helping us out a little bit. Just a little bit. <laughs> I have some hope, but I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it's three from the back, right? Yeah, X and Y. Okay. So, the first ever, I think, full art Venusaur cards in here. Great ball. Lady uh, To go with our Lady on. All right. We got some energy. Star you. do do I barely ever opened up X and Y base. Let's get something good. Oh, we got a Raichu Hollow. Not bad. We'll take something. <laughs> All right, next booster pack. Next booster pack's going to be... All right, we got Black and White Plasma Freeze. That's not too bad. I'll take it. If I could actually get it out of this thing, that would be amazing. Let me see if I can get it out of here. I couldn't do it. I couldn't handle it anymore. I, I'm, I just could not handle it anymore. Okay, we're going to go one, two, three from the back to the front on this one. Let's see if we get something good out of here. All right, 
So this black and white era. We got Lampit, Noctel, Makuita. I really need something good. Benelite, <laughs> Mankey, Nidoran. The Nellux reverse? Into a Weavile non hollow. Time for the last booster pack. I think I know what it is. It's Fossil, but the question is, is it first edition or is it unlimited? At this point, we really do kind of need a first edition pack if we're going to get up to $1,200 of value out of this thing. I hope it's... I hope it is. I hope it is. Oh, it's unlimited. All right. It's an unlimited booster pack for Fossil, which is going to be the best pack out of this thing. Okay, okay. That's not bad, actually. This is still a really good pack to get out of here. It actually helps us quite a lot on this uh, mystery box fight. But now I'm just going to have to struggle for about an hour to get this out of here. And here we have it. The final item in our mystery box, a 1999 Fossil booster pack. And as always, I purchase this stuff under a different name when I buy mystery boxes off of eBay and wherever I buy them from. So they don't know where they're sending it to me. So we get a, a real actual review of this stuff here. I think we got around $1,000 in, in value out of this box. Now the question is, can we actually get a big pull out of this booster pack? All right. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Uh, that is not a good sign. Okay, okay. So we're going to go one, two. Oh, dude. I think this might be a reseal or something. That's pretty bad. Hold on. Yo, this is really bad. That don't look normal. That don't look normal at all. Oh, dude. Yo, I think that's a reseal. <sighs> oh, my God. Are you actually serious? No way, bro. Our fossil pack was a... Oh, I could see the glue. I could see the glue on the bottom. Dude, we just got duped on the fossil pack. Oh. The last item was a reseal. What year are these cards? What year are these cards? 2019. 2019. Oh my god. Oh, there's evolutions in here. Oh. No way, dude. Oh my god. We got duped on the fossil pack. What a way to end this opening. So we, uh, that's so bad. I mean, I will say this. It might, it, you know, it might not be the actual seller. Like it could have been where the seller got the packs from. That's the thing, you know, like whenever you have like loose packs, and you buy packs loose, it's always sketchy. Uh, whenever I do vintage stuff, I always make sure that I get it from like a sealed booster box or something sealed where, you know, all the packs are good. If you're buying loose packs and you're making like mystery boxes for people, uh, it's really not the best way to go about it because like not only was it a reseal but of course it was a weighed pack so you have to go against the pack being weighed with no hollow in it then on top of that being a reseal and honestly this one from the outside couldn't really tell and it's hard to know now unless i go back to the video but like it didn't look bad, and they did it from the bottom of the pack. Also, make sure you don't harass this seller or anything. I'm sure I could just message them and get a partial refund on this uh, mystery box, on this pack or whatever. Um, they have like a ton, they have like thousands of listings and really good feedback. So I think it might have just been an honest mistake. Uh, I don't even think they have a single negative feedback at all. So yeah, just um, I'm sure it'll be fine. But yeah, probably wouldn't purchase anything like this again. But that's the whole thing, right? I'm buying this stuff to review so you guys can see what actually happens in some of these uh, scenarios. But that is going to do it. Thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to smash the like button on your way out. If you want to watch more content, feel free to click on a couple videos on top of there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.